Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 5 to 8 this morning. Let's read them up and look at it. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a friend, and go to him at midnight, and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, Do not trouble me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. I say to you, that though he will not rise and give to him because of his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So this is talking about uh, Jesus is giving instruction about prayer. And here's a, a, a particular note here. Be persistent in prayer. Be definite in continuing and continuing in prayer. Obviously, this is a problem. You and I surely are among those who are not as persistent in prayer as we should be. Jesus is, uses the example. It's in the middle of the night. Your friend has arrived from a journey. He's really, he's really hungry. And you, you just have to feed him because that's hospitality. That's the Middle Eastern way. And it's a good way. So you go to your friend's house and you say, hey, I know it's the middle of the night, but please give me some food. And he says, no, leave me alone. I'm sleeping. Can't, can't mess with that. But he's, he's pointing out that if you're really persistent, not for good motives, but for selfish motives, I don't want to be messed with anymore. I'll just give him the, the, the loaves of bread and we'll, we'll mess it. We'll fix it in the morning. Uh, somebody will, by your persistence, uh, just to get rid of you, will give you what you need. And so from that motive, that's not that's not a good real motive, is it? But it, it but he's telling us that persistence is important, whether it's uh, you're dealing with somebody who has good motives or bad motives towards you. God certainly has very, very good motives toward us. So let us be persistent in prayer toward the king of the universe. In fact, let us pray to him now. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you for hearing our prayers each morning, day, to, day by day. Uh, we want, Lord, to be persistent in prayer. Surely this is a problem across the globe. Uh, humans are just lazy. We just must admit it. We tend to be fallen humans. We tend to be lazy. Help us, Lord, to be diligent and persistent and uh, coming to you, knowing that unlike the example in Jesus' example, you are very ready to answer our prayers immediately. Be our, be our helper, Lord. Thank you for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. So let's be really persistent in prayer, and may God's blessings be upon you this day.